Hey guys, here we are. We're going to be talking about the last piece of uh, kinetic energy or the, the kinetic chain that you're creating. Um, so we started at the feet. Um, I showed that video. Then I did the hips one uh, a long time ago. Being able to transfer your weight from your hips is very, very important. Uh, then the last one we just did is your shoulder, right, and your back, being able to get into it, and how you turn your, your punches over with your elbow, oh, right? This one? The elbow. Oh. Boom. Yeah, so elbow, boom, right? And that's going to make, that's going <laughs> to allow you to create and work on that chain. And the last one is, um, is your punching knuckles, right? And creating the line from your elbow, right, uh, to your knuckles, and that's the line that you're going to create where you're driving your force into your opponent. Right, so she's throwing a right hand, right? All the force is coming to these, from these knuckles through her elbow, and it's, this line is where she's driving through, right? Um, and you, the reason that you punch with these three knuckles, and a lot of people think because these knuckles are bigger that you want to punch with them, but the reason you don't punch with these ones is these bones go directly into your wrist, and these ones, this one comes at an angle. This one kind of does too, right? But it comes into a wrist into her wrist at an angle, and there's no weight here, right? There's no way that she can stop me from being able to uh, move her wrist around if I put any weight on this knuckle. Uh, but if on these knuckles, these knuckles, there's no give, and there's so much more restraint that she can put on me being able to, to put weight on it, right? So that's why you want to punch there uh, and start the line from these knuckles to your elbow. Um, and that's going to be the same for every punch that you throw. If you throw a jab, right, it's going to be driving through, right, boom. And even though it's not coming down or doing this, it's coming through and all the power is coming through her elbow and she's creating a line right here. Same with the right hand, right? Whoops. Right, and it's coming through, driving through, creating a line from the elbow. Uh, even though it's fully extended, right? If we were to stop it from here, right? And throw it a little shorter, it creates that line uh, as well. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're punching with these knuckles. And after you have done enough of the, the elbow drills, right, to get your punch into it, uh, or to get your elbow into it and your back into it. Um, you want to practice um, making sure that you land with those knuckles. Again, uh, I talked about it in the, the last video. Uh, a common problem that a lot of, especially American fighters have, uh, is kind of slapping or hitting with the wrong parts of the hand. Sometimes they'll, like if they throw a left hook, they'll kind of slap into it and they're not hitting with the right knuckles and they have no power in the shot. They have no power, but if you hit with these knuckles, and you're able to get your elbow into it, right? You're going to have so much more power and so much more force. So you want to work on it and you want to drill. After you've drilled the feet, you've drilled the, the hips, you've drilled the, the elbow drill to get your shoulder into it. You just want to throw some, some quick punches, you know, to make sure you're landing with the right knuckles and turning your shots over. And this is the last part of the chain. Uh, you know, they're all equally important. Um, but this one is also going to be more important for you to not be hurting yourself. Throw that jab harder. Oh, there you go. Harder. Good. <laughs> uh, we don't have any hand wraps at the moment. You can see her knuckles getting quite red. Um, see this one's a little red too. She's needs to work on her technique a little bit. <laughs> but, but notice these ones are great. Look at how much more red these ones are. This one's probably just because her skin's tight. Um, but you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, you, you want to train all of yeah. these drills. You want to train all of these, these drills independently. Right, and focus on, on doing them independently of each other and then putting it all together at the end. You know, maybe practice starting at the feet, right? Making sure that you're transferring your weight, you're putting it all into your heel. When you, when you punch with, off of your right leg, you don't move your left leg, you don't bend your left leg. Um, and then you can add your hips into it. You should always be doing your hips too, but then you can do it. You can practice adding in your elbows, right? And then all the way at the end, boom. You get all of the chain, the whole chain in there. And you're going to be able to prove your punching power and your coordination and your speed and the rate at which that you do everything in boxing by a huge margin. Um, and again, this is not like the only things about punching. There are other things um, that you can work on, other drills. But finding little shortcuts like this to make sure that you train your punching power correctly um, will be able to get rid of that misnomer about punchers are born. You know, because it's just these techniques that they just didn't have to train. They just had this, like, you know, someone who used to play baseball, they're going to have a better punch, you know, than someone who didn't, who was never athletic, just because they've trained that motion before, right? Um, anyway, uh, again, feet, hips, uh, doing the elbow to get make sure you get your shoulder into it um, and that you're not slapping with your shots, and then knuckles uh, to finish the chain so that your punches. Uh, wind up looking crisp and, and have power. 
Uh, anyway, thanks, guys.